Greetings fellow journeyers and welcome to my channel, My Lioness Journey. My name is Michelle and in today's video I want to speak with you all about why you must heal from my perspective. I am not a clinical professional, I am not a life coach, I'm not anything like that. But what I am is a fellow soul that has endured an enormous amount of pain. I have overcome those things and I'm still pushing through. I haven't overcame everything and I am still pushing through. And so as a fellow journeyer, I feel like being able to personally speak from experience is what makes me credible on speaking on this topic and being able to give you all my suggestions and my perspective on why you must heal. I have witnessed in my own life how crippling not dealing with pain, like allowing pain to linger, unresolved pain could be, and how it could stagnate your energy. And I've also witnessed this in other people as well. I have lost many years of untapped potential being stagnant and stuck because of unhealed pain. And it reminds me of when the show goes into syndication and, and that's what it kind of feel like, like uh, reliving those moments and, and reliving those uh, traumatic events. It's just like when the show goes into syndication, you know, when that happens, the show is originally on one network and then another network picks it up. Well, the original trauma happened at a certain age and stage of life and now you're older and you're in a different phase, yet those same unhealed thoughts and pain and trauma is still following you and replaying over and over in your new phase of life. And I feel like it, it is something that because it is present, it is, is very unfair because you're continuously in that loop, not being able to move forward. So I totally understand what this is like and this is why I want to speak to you all about this today. Ever since I was a little girl, I have always been a dreamer, always had entrepreneur dreams, in fact, as a little girl. And I can remember throughout life just starting new projects and trying to embark on new endeavors. But because of this unhealed pain, I could never move or go but so far. It's like I created my own glass ceiling. And so I would be stuck because this unhealed pain basically hijack any progress I can make you know I get so far and before you know it is just like still in any energy that I have to successfully see something through so although I am NOT a clinical professional or a life coach maybe you could could consider me a manifestation of your own mind maybe you know deep down inside your soul has been telling you we need to heal this. We have work to do. We have things we need to do. We need to heal this. And deep down inside, you've been hearing that, that small inner voice letting you know. So just consider me to be a manifestation of that. So you uh, chose this video, not by coincidence or by chance, and you were meant to stumble upon this video, hit play, and be reminded and also encouraged to go on your own healing journey and, and to be reminded as to why it's important to do so. So let's start with the facts. The facts are these things happened. You were violated. These transgressions, these violations happened to you. It happened to me. It happened to many of us. And unfortunately, there is nothing any of us could do about it. We cannot go back in the past and undo these things. I would venture to say that because of some of the things that happened to us, we are now stronger in a lot of areas. And if you're like myself, maybe now you have boundaries that you didn't have before being violated or experiencing that traumatic event. So again, we cannot go back and change the events of the things that happened to us. And the other fact is, we don't deserve or we didn't deserve both we did not deserve or we don't deserve 
what is, if something is still happening for you on your end or whatever happened to you in the past. You didn't deserve any of that and, and that's a fact too. So, you know, just keep that in mind because, you know, a lot of times we, we hear people be like, we'll get over it. Well, you know, healing it, it is a process. And, and some things you may never forget. So it's not really, are you really truly capable of totally getting over it? And what I mean by that is the odds of you ever forgetting, but it doesn't have to be a hindrance. So again, we did not deserve any of these things and just remember that fact. So the first reason, well, I'll start with this first, I guess if you wanna call it a tip or First thing that I would say to keep in mind about this is to know that it is okay. You have permission. Give yourself permission to heal. You do not have to stay stuck in a loop or a cycle of reliving those moments day after day, year in, year out, for some of us, decades. Um, you deserve to heal. Give yourself permission to heal. You do not have to relive those moments. You do not have to be a forever victim. You have the right to get out of that syndication and tune into another channel. Another reason why you deserve to heal and why you need to heal those traumatic experiences is because your health is dependent upon it. And there's a lot of uh, diseases and illnesses we experience because of unresolved traumatic experiences that are stored in our body and uh, it's, it's not let out, it's not dealt with, and so it manifests as illnesses. And I have a book here that I want to show you all. Um, for any of you who are not familiar with this book, it's by Louise Hayes. Hopefully that'll... Uh, focus in but the name of this book is heal your body and um, it's the mental causes for physical illness and the metaphysical way to overcome them so again this is the book and I purchased this book a few years ago I was actually watching someone's video and she recommended this book a few years ago when I started my healing journey I felt like this would be a valuable tool to have now, um, Louise does mention, because I do want to share some of her story uh, with you and tell you a little bit about this book because it ties into uh, why I'm saying that it, it affects your health. She says this book doesn't heal anyone, but it does awaken with you the ability to contribute to your own healing process. <clears throat> so uh, I'll try not to be long-winded, but I do want to share some of her story. Now, according to this book, this is a newly revised edition, but again, this book is it's a little old. I don't know what year here. But anyway, so on with her story. I want to share with you one of the reasons why I know that this ease can be reversed by simply reversing mental patterns. A number of years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer of the vagina. With my background of being raped when I was five years old and being a battered child, it was no wonder that I have manifested cancer in the vaginal area. Having already been a teacher of healing for several years, I was very aware that I was now being given a chance to practice on myself and prove what I've been teaching others. Like anyone who had just been told that they have cancer, I went into a total panic, yet I knew that mental healing worked. Being aware that cancer comes from a pattern of deep resentment that is held for a long time until it literally eats away at the body. I knew that I had a lot of mental work to do. I realized that if I had the operation to get rid of the cancer, but did not clear the mental pattern that created it, then the doctors would just keep cutting Louise until there was no more Louise to cut. If I had the operation and cleared the mental pattern that was causing the cancer, then the cancer wouldn't return. Now, I'll stop there. So basically, she's not saying not to still follow up with a medical practitioner. 
uh, or anything like that but what she's saying is to assist them uh, to clear and help assist that medical professional by also working on the things within you that is causing the disease this book also goes on to break down um, potential problems you may be having so the actual dis-ease the probable cause and then she gives an affirmation of a, a new thought pattern that you could apply to it so you know you may be feeling a, a specific type of way and then she gives you an affirmation and so i'll go to something that that i deal with and uh, we'll just go to nearsighted because when I tell you there are so many, and I've turned some friends on to this, but there are so many diagnoses. I, I really highly recommend this. But let's see. Okay, did I say nearsighted? I'm farsighted. <laughs> so for farsighted hyperopia, so that would be the problem. And it says, uh, Oh, am I saying that right? That would be the... Yeah, that would be the problem. The probable cause of being farsighted, fear of the present, made sense to me because as a little girl or um, being married and being in an abusive relationship, I feared the present all the time. And the affirmation that she gave to, that you can use to meditate on, would be, I am safe in the here and now. I see that clearly. So uh, again, Louise Hayes, Heal Your Body. I found this book on um, Amazon. It wasn't expensive. It was a very reasonable price. So, and even if you do not purchase this book, the point I'm making is that dealing, not dealing with your unsolved your unresolved pain it has to manifest somewhere and so it lingers and you may be thinking that oh I have this or that disease because it runs in the family everyone in the family has this or that and it could in fact yeah it could run in the family but it could be something that you're storing and if you just healed it or if you, you know, when it spoke to someone about it, like a, a, a mental health therapist may be, it may clear up. And it may clear up with no medication or a low dose of medication. I'm not promoting either way, no medication or not. I'm just saying that it is, it's important to do that because your physical health is dependent upon it. The next reason why you need to heal yourself is because then you'll be stuck. You will literally not be able to move forward. Or should I say literally? I mean, you would be able to move, but what I'm saying is you would not be able to concentrate and fully give your attention or energy to anything you want to start because, you know, it's like I said earlier when I, when I started this, um, Oh gosh, my nose itch, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I started this video, I had all these dreams and you know, I wanna be an entrepreneur and I get things started. And at any moment I could be bawling about something that happened that you know, was really painful and stuck there and, and just paralyzed and can't move. And so that'll be a, a cycle and you may already be experiencing that. And so you'll just, just be stuck there and can't move forward. You'll want to do things, but as soon as you can try to get your uh, attention on that to get it going before you know it, here comes those thoughts and here comes those memories again and you're reliving it and you just can't move forward. So that's why it's important to heal that so that you could flow or when these thoughts come about, you have productive, healthy ways to acknowledge that it's there, but to be able to keep moving forward so that you can flow and not get stuck, which also brings about disease in the body. 
I want to add another point before I leave that point, uh, like some additional information to being stuck. And that is when you are stuck, even if someone attempts to give you a helping hand, if in your mind you are convinced that you could do, you can't do any better because that's what you've been told or um, that's what you believe because now it's buried in your subconscious. You just believe that no matter if someone gave you a helping hand, even if you progress, then you'll eventually find yourself right back on what I call stuck street. Because unfortunately, your what you believe is going to override their motivation. I mean, they could tell you all day, you're worthy and, and you know, here, here's the helping hand and I'll help you out of this situation. But if you don't believe that, you'll go right back to what you believe you deserve and that is to be stuck or to be a victim or to be in a perpetual state of pain and it's not true it's, it's, it's inaccurate but I did want to add that additional point uh, the next reason why you need to heal yourself is because you deserve it there are things I'm sure you have some type of dream or vision uh, some type of goal you want to achieve and you have every right to do so but when you're not healed when do you have the time or the energy to put into achieving those things you didn't come here to be a doormat you didn't come here to be stuck forever in a in a cycle of pain or uh, unhappiness that's not why you're here you have desires of your heart. You have things that you want to achieve before you leave here. Whatever your beliefs about how you leave here is, you know, is your belief. We don't, we're not all supposed to agree on what happens, but while you're here, you deserve to actually live and to attempt to achieve those goals. I watched a video. It was a motivational video of Jim Carrey. And in the video, he was talking about his dad and I can't remember everything, but I do know, according to him, his dad was a funny man too. His dad, I don't know if it was as a result of them having children, um, but his dad ended up doing a, a career, becoming a part of a career that he really didn't enjoy. He said it was sad to see when his dad died. He can tell that his dad died with regrets. And there are two things that he said in the video that I, I remember pausing the video and um, because I wanted to write it down verbatim and I want to share with you all what he said in, in that video because I feel like it would be helpful to you. The first thing he said is when you compromise and you fail, it really hurts. It hurts even more than failing at what you love. I was like, dang, that is deep. Like, at least if you really wanted to do something and you loved it and you failed, yeah, it hurts, but one thing you can hang your hat on, and that is, at least I tried. Had I never tried, then how would I have known if it would work or not? And then that, that's not to say that I can't revisit and try it again. Maybe I just go back to the drawing board and you know, learn from my mistakes. Did I not research enough? Did I not have enough capital? Did I not have enough faith? Like, what is it to why I failed? And then I can try again, but at least you try. But like he says here, when you compromise and fail, that really hurts. And then the next thing he said that I wrote here, wrote down from that video, you can fail at what you don't love. So you might as well do what you love. And I feel like that ties into when you're unhealed and because you believe the narrative that was given to you about yourself, that you can't do this or you can't do that, um, you'll never go far and you're incapable of, of achieving something because of a disability or the way that person saw you. And they uh, now because of these words, now you, you believe these things and so therefore you go on to live a life that is not satisfying to you. And, but secretly wishing that you can do the things that you really wanna do. And so I thought I would share this. This is something that I have on my phone and I look at. 
I, I don't know the name of the video. I don't remember, but if, if I can find that video, I will link it. The next point I have to make is, have you ever heard of saying, what has your pride cost you? So I'll pose a similar question. What has your unhealed, unresolved pain cost you? Because there are many of us that we were given a talent or we were given a gift. And because we will not heal, we, we will not heal or face our demons and, and, and say, you know what, I'm, I'm ready to deal with you, except the fact that this happened. There's nothing I can do about this, but I do not have to continue to live a life like this. We never go on. And some of you are sitting on ideas that could save someone's life, um, could change your life. You may be praying or meditating for a different financial situation for yourself, more money or um, life altering, changing financial situation, whatever you're meditating or praying about. And you have the idea right there, deep down inside, buried inside you, but it's underneath all of that gunk and, and pain. And it's just, it, it wants to appear and it wants to meet you and say, hey, this is how we could get this going and, and, and get this manifested for you. But first, you have to deal with this. And so that's why I posed the question, what is your unhealed trauma or pain costing you? Now, I'm not suggesting that uh, you deal with this and then tomorrow, you know, everything is going to be just fine and you're going to just start boom, boom, boom. Everything is going to fall in line. No, it's, it's, defi it's definitely a, a process. However, again, how would you know if you don't try? How, how would you know what you're capable of achieving? if you don't try and if you're not willing to just face those demons and say, you know what, uh, I'm tired of you robbing me of what is rightfully mine and I'd rather fail at what I wanted to do or what I love versus settling for this. Last but certainly not least, you are a unique, beautiful individual and the planet needs you. You, your talent, your abilities, is something that we need. You may have something that could be life changing for someone else. And maybe just, you know, you going on a journey to help yourself and to heal it and to love yourself may be the reason why someone decided not to hurt themselves or to go on their own journey of self love and self healing. Even if you don't see any of this, what I'm speaking about right now in the present moment, I promise you that if you just take a chance on yourself and you're willing to, to do the work, it will reveal itself. The help even will reveal itself. You know, people will make themselves known or the videos will pop up, but it will re reveal itself because it's deep down inside of you. So now it's time to tell that pain, listen, you no longer get to control my destiny and tell me how to live my life. And it's time to use that pain as a motivation to grow. You know, allow that pain to become your ally. You know, and, and, and when I say that, because one thing about pain, it kind of shows you your weaknesses and where you would you know need to strengthen up and in those areas where you meet you may be vulnerable because none of us are perfect you know but allow that pain to be a motivation to be the best version of yourself you be because you deserve that and unfortunately you have to make that first step for yourself because again like i said earlier even if someone gave you a helping hand if you don't want to do it for yourself, it's not going to last. You'll only be doing it for them. And that's, that's never a good reason. You always want to do this for yourself. I hope you found this video today to be helpful, encouraging, and motivating. Again, I am not 
a clinical professional and I'm not a life coach. I'm just a person that, again, I've been through some things and um, I'm, I'm learning and I'm growing and I just refuse to allow these things to hold me back. You know, I take things one day at a time. Some days I wake up and I feel like, oh man, this is, this is tough or did I really make any progression? But I have. All you have to do is, um, you know, when you're along this journey and you have those moments, Think about, I'll say two years ago, or a year ago, like re rewind the time and say, was I speaking this way? Did I think this way? You know, do a comparison from that time frame versus now. You'll see some growth. You, you definitely will. And that's, you know, that's what I do. So again, I'm just here to encourage you. I'm just a, a fellow soul here to encourage you, to let you know that being on this journey is helpful. It does work to do that self-healing work. And as you begin to love yourself more and more, things become to make, uh, to come, become more clear. And, and you understand more and then you say, okay, well, I'm understanding, I'm learning my purpose or what I like or what I desire. And I can move forward with this and I don't have to be fearful and it's okay to not be perfect. But at the same time, it's okay to say, I refuse to be what my heart and soul says that I'm not. Like what you're saying definitely does not align with who I know that I am. So again, I thank you. I thank you for stopping by today. And if you enjoyed today's video, you know, give it a like, share this with someone you feel may benefit from this. And if today's video inspired you to subscribe to my channel, I thank you in advance for doing so. And I will chat with you all in a new video. Bye-bye for now.